Hi guys, this is Kostup and today I'll be teaching you how to create settings in c -sharp. So instead of me implementing settings in a real-life application, what I'll be doing is actually creating the concept. So I'm not gonna go over and choose WPF or WinForm project. I'll be going with console app with .NET Core so that you will really understand how to implement settings and then you can by yourself use it in a real-life application. So I'm going with next, change the project name next so there are basically lots of file formats in which you can save settings some of them are json xml and the most common that i think everyone have seen is any file so what i mean by that is something like this we have file with some name and dot any so they are also used to save some configurations every any file has this header of string and then they have this key and value so everything you save here in any file are basically strings even if you are saving this as one they basically turn out to be a string so we have to cast this string value to it and that's what we're going to take care of so there are lots of ways for passing any file uh, we can actually write our own parser uh, but why to do such a mess when there is something available in nudget so if i go to project and manage nudget package click on this browse button search for any parse so i'm going to install this okay so once this new jet has been installed what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly build a solution open this solution in file explorer and i'm going to copy this same any file to this output folder we have saved this same file with name as config.ini using this getting started guide we first need to import this uh, dependency a reference what do you say and then just like they said we have to use this parser all right and you have to read the file okay so i'm going to read the file it's config dot any so if you want to access suppose this first value key one you just have to type data and then type this settings which is this header followed by the key name which is key one so this key one and you can assign this to a variable we can output this value to our console so as you can see we got the value of this key one similarly you can get value for key int and key bool using this same approach if you want to update this key value what you have to do is set value has changed so i have to write this to the file so pass a dot write file to again the same file so this will update this key one with the value has been changed so if i just run this and basically there is no output you can see our value has been changed if you want to add some more settings all you have to do is just give any name like new and then you have to set some value but notice if i just set value like true or one we get an error and it says that you cannot convert type into string just like i said all the values stored in an any file are basically strings so you have to cast it to the string and then if you want to get this value you have to use convert uh, to in and then pass this value and then you can get this value as in so if i just run this or what i can do is i can set a breakpoint all right we have hit the breakpoint now let me just quickly see if we have added new settings and yes we have added the new setting as new with the value as one our value of s is one and it's an integer so that's all you need to know about creating a settings in c -sharp. but what i'm going to show you right now is a clever way of writing settings by using a helper class there are many ways of uh, creating a helper class the way i'm going to implement this is the most basic and simple one uh, because i don't want to get into all those uh, complex topics like dependency injection view models and all other architecture patterns right now i want to keep all of these things a bit simple so yes let's write a basic helper class in your project we just create a new folder as settings and there I'm going to add a class I call as settings model and this class will basically hold uh, every settings that we want. So what I've done here generally is I've created a model class which has this following properties a string int bool and the name of this field is what it's going to reflect as the key name. All right so now we are going to create a settings helper. So the way I create the setting helper is by creating a singleton class. The reason I use singleton class is because I don't want multiple instances of this class running throughout the application, messing around with setting values. What I really want is only one instance of this class. In order to create a singleton class, uh, we have to first make this class as sealed. So a sealed modifier is used to uh, protect this class from getting inherited. So you can't do this, like you can't inherit 
this clause as the compiler will throw an error saying that it's a seal type and it cannot be derived. Uh, then what I'm going to create is private static instance of the same class with variable instance. I'm not going to initialize it right now. What I want to do is to create public method with the name as settings. And this is not a method, this is basically a getter. So we'll write here get. And what I'm going to do here is if this about instance value is not null, then we're gonna return it. Else we're gonna initialize it for the first time and then return it. And that's how you basically create a singleton class. Also, we don't want our setting helper class to be initialized outside this class, something like this. We don't want this to happen. So what we'll do is we will create a public constructor of settings helper. All right, so this is how we create perfect singleton. Now, first we create this uh, two private variables, just like we did here, parser and data. Uh, we are not initializing data here because we will initialize it later in this private constructor. What else do we need here is obviously the file name. We will create private static string. So this variable will hold path to our base directory. That means this path where our main exe file is present. So this variable will hold the path to this config file. All right, so what else we need is uh, this header. We don't want to write this header multiple times so we are creating a private const string for this header so this will hold our string into this constant string in our private constructor what we really want to do is suppose if this file is not present in that case if you do this like parser.read file it will throw an exception so we want to make a safety check there if not file.exist this setting part that means this part we want to write default settings that means this default values we will create this method but first we forgot one thing to do we have to create public uh, instance of these setting models because this is where we're gonna save all our settings so we create setting model of current and this property will provide only get and we will initialize it whenever the class is created first all right, so now we can write our default settings to this current dot uh, string key. I'm going to write the default value as value one. So here we are assigning values to the properties of the class. These are the properties that will be written if this setting file is not present at the very first time. So we will delete this. All right, so now we want to write these properties to a file. But first we have to create this because uh, at start, it's not going to present over there. So we will create settings path. And remember to close it because this create class actually provides you a file stream. So it is necessary that you close it. Otherwise, you will get an exception like the permission has been denied or something like that. So once we have created this file, we now actually want to write it into an ini file. Just like we did here by creating this data for writing the ini keys, we will do the exact same thing here like data the section name will be the settings and our key name will be our name of this current dot string key and our value will be the same so what this name of function is doing is not hard coding string in our application because we don't want to do it so writing this is basically same as this and in the same ways you have to do for others and now let's write this parser.write file file name is settings path and data all right so this will be called whenever the setting file does not exist but if it exists we're gonna read settings so here we want to read the settings from an existing config.ini file and to do this data equals to parser.read file and our settings path so this will be the exact opposite of what we have done here. Here we are assigning the value and in this function, we are interchanging this position. So as we can see, we are getting some of errors, like we cannot convert type string to int. And just like I said previously, any files store the data in string format. So in order to get this as int, we have to use the convert function. Same for the Boolean. All right, so yes, that's it. This will read all the settings and update the properties of this current model. And one thing I want to do is to extract this method to a separate function. It's gonna be a public function. The name will be right settings, and I'm gonna call this here. So why I did it will be explained a bit later. And by doing this, we have created our setting helper class. Now all we have to do is to go to our program.cs. Let me remove all these methods. And at the top, I'm going to add this static settings demo dot our helper. So to retrieve any value, we will write settings. So I guess we have some problem. Uh, it's saying that our setting does not exist in context. 
uh, yes, this we have to make this setting property as static. And now we can use this setting dot current dot uh, string and we can assign it to any value we want and it will give me a string. Similarly, you can get key in or uh, key bold. So this is how you read settings now. Okay, so let's run it. I think we have run into a null pointer exception, which says that, okay, yes, this data variable is null. Okay, how can I forget this? I have not instantiated data variable. So all I need to do is to use parser.read file and settings path, just like we did here. And also let me delete this file because this does not contain any configuration yet. Now let's run it. Okay, so as you can see, our config file has been created and we have successfully displayed properties to the console window and now if you want to update settings all you need to do is settings current string key and i'm going to update it to modified key and setting that current dot rule and let's make it false and the last thing you need to do is to actually write it and that's why we have created this write function so that it will write or update all the settings to this config.ini file so now you may be wondering like why can't property will automatically be saved whenever I change its value. Like if I change this value to something else, it should automatically write to this any file. And yes, it can be possible by implementing iProperty change event using an view model, but I would rather not do it. The reason is like, let me show you an example. If you go to tools and options, so this is the same setup of the Visual Studio. Now, if I uncheck some setting, it does not get applied right away. I still have to click on this OK, or I can just cancel it. By clicking on OK, it will save the settings. And by clicking on Cancel, it does not save it. And that's what we are doing here. We are allowing user to provide a way so that even if they have made some mess, like I just made a mess. Now I don't know what were the default setting. I can still go back by pressing this cancel button and it provides a safety feature like a guess. So let's run it now. Now you can see our keys has been modified. So this is how you update the settings. Suppose if you want to add new settings, all you have to do is to go to your setting model, add a new key, I'll create it a string, new key or any name you want. Go to your default settings method, assign this property a default value. Also change this right settings so that it contains this new key method. And yes, now you can access it here. New key equals to settings dot current dot new key. And you can display it. But yes, before running this, make sure you delete the existing file because we want this property to have a default value uh, in our config.ini file. Okay, so now if I just run it, so as you can see from the output and from the file, we have added a new property. If you have paid a little more attention, you can notice this uh, variable name becomes our key name, and that's how we are saving the settings. So this is how you can create a settings in C sharp. I hope you understand the video. I hope you understand singletons and sealed class modifiers and also the concept of creation of settings using the helper classes. If you have any questions in your mind, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment sections and I'll try to reply you as quickly as possible. So this is it guys. And as always, all the code to this project will be available from the link in the description. And I'll see you next time. <music>